Hello guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. I hope you're having a great day. I'm still trying to think of a funny way to start off my videos. So I'm now just going to leave it at that. Today I wanted to do something that had come to my mind recently. The next episode of Murderon should be out sooner or later. Uh, let's look when I am able to release this video. And I wanted to play bingo with my theories for the next episode. This is going to go as follows. I'm going to open my bingo card, I'm going to show you one of my bingo fields and to explain every field to you and at the end you can write for your own bingo cards in the comments and if the episode releases we can look what we got wrong, what we got right and look at the card again. I don't know if we get a bingo, I do maybe some form of special, I'm still looking out what I'm going to do then. I have not seen someone who's doing a video like this. But if someone had the idea before me, uh, write it down in the comments. Your support is really appreciated and let's go into the video, shall we? Eldritch V. Uh, the monster in, in the second episode is called Eldritch J. And I think after V is attacked by the raptors, she's probably going to get destroyed. And Absolute Solver going to take over and he's going to transform her into an Eldritch version like Jay. And the reason why there's not more of those Eldritch creatures of other disassembly drones is because of Alice. Alice was always putting the cores into the oven so that they couldn't transform themselves. But now that Alice is no longer with us, I think the Absolute Solver is going to have his chance to transform V into a Eldritch bone. The next one is pretty self-explaining. I think the elevator is going right down to the core of the planet. I don't know why a human would build this, but like, anyways, at least I think we're going to get a really cool shot of like a giant metal ball, technological on it, and the absolute server is trying to use the null, not null, the black hole thing on it, and so do something with the planet or destroy it, I don't know, something like that. Next on the list we have that V survives. I know it's kinda counterintuitive to have that she dies and that she survives on the same list, but like, I make the rules so I allow it. First of all, she's a disassembly drone. She can literally get torn apart and just stuck herself together again. Do you think just some raptors are going to change that? I have the second reason later in the video, so stay tuned for that. And the third and most important reason, this little one here, she is going to make money and you don't get rid of your money maker. <laughs> Obviously the last one is a joke, but still, if she's going to get removed from the series, no one, or at least not as much people, are going to buy the plushie, you know. That's why there is no J plushie. Ow. The next thing I'd be pretty hyped about if we get a like really epic fight scene between Uzi and N. Uh, we haven't seen N really in action since the first episode and the absolute server is already taking over Uzi and I think there's going to be a fight scene. You can't convince me otherwise and V isn't there the fight scene. I doubt that Tessa could hold up with those drones so like would be nice to see and also that would be a lot of drama because N obviously wouldn't want to kill her, but Absolute Server is going to try kill N with Uzi's body. But Uzi is not going to want this. Entertaining storytelling there, I guess? In this one I made an entire separate video about it, so you can check it out if you want to. But I'm going to summarize it here real quick. Basically, my theory is that N unalive Uzi's mom and because it's heavily implied that she is killed by this assembly drone and I think it could be J or B but like it could be a really interesting conflict imagine the love of your life killed a family member of yours so like the next one is actually quite interesting so let me start to explain so did you ever notice since the first episode I think the disassembly drones have full automatic machine guns but they never really used them there was one scene where Uzi was on the ground and Jay was standing right over her and didn't do anything. I'm not quite sure but I think in the entire series no one was on screen at least killed with the machine gun 
which affected the plot. I mean, there was one scene in the fourth episode where we killed one of Uzi's classmates with her gun, but this was more for comedy and not like really for the plot. Or the one time where a gun actually hit someone, Doll just completely ignores that she got just shot. So like I think either they're going to be a joke in the next episode that the Murderdons don't have any ammunition left or we will see again a scene where like it's extremely dramatic and it just could have been prevented if someone had used their guns. But with Uzi's blood armor I think there's no chance this is going to happen. The next one is pretty quick to explain. We have currently three people who can use Absolute Server. We have Uzi, the purple one. We have Sin, the yellow one. And we have Doll, the red one. And I think if we see another one, they are either going to be controlled by Sin and have a yellow one, or it's going to be Uzi's mom and have a purple one. Or what I would personally like more, if we go more like a Star Wars route on this one. For example, we have red, that would be evil. We have yellow, that would be neutral. We have purple, that would be a mix between good and evil. And the only thing left is like blue or green, one of the two. And I think it could be quite cool, but let me know what you think of that. So to the simulation theory, many people think that the entire universe of Murderdons is taking place in a simulation. I wouldn't say it's not possible because everything what the absolute server is doing, I mean, if it's an AI and the AI can connect itself to the simulation, then of course it could manipulate the simulation like we see in the show. I personally would really dislike it if this is going to be true because, I mean, we love our boy N. All the characters have such great arcs and the story is really good. And the story is right now really heartbreaking and it's just like it was all a dream just bad writing in my opinion if all your characters just oh they were just in a simulation kinda like that nothing was ever real or something anyways and the next point is uzi goes crazy the i could have titled it just crazy because one of our characters is going to go crazy in the next episode um 100% sure about it. Either it's going to be N because Sin is going to take over Uzi and Tessa would not like that and going to shoot Uzi. And this is going to really make N go nuts. And I mean, I wanted to see N in action again. So like, that would be his chance. And Uzi could also go crazy. I mean, look at what she all went through in this short amount of time. I mean, here's a short co compilation what Uzi went through. She was the outsider in her class. She has encountered death more times than I can count. She banished herself from the colony because her dad left her to die. Then she got a little bit traumatized by some form of cybernetic demon, ripping his dad in half and giving her emotional damage through her mother. And the fact that the thing exists in the first place. After that, the absolute solver activated in Uzi after she got attacked by Doll. And next one, Uzi went completely insane, almost completely insane, and was able to get her out of it. But doing that, she killed 80% of her class. The only one still standing, I think, is Lizzie and Fat. Next, she feared for Anne's life. And at, la at the last but not least, I think we all saw the elevator scene and get a lot of emotional <laughs> damage after that. And I doubt our characters are going to be accepted by that. And maybe Anne is going to turn on her, so... <laughs> so, the next one is quite fun. Uh, you probably were asking, what the hell is MadPad doing in your bingo? He recently released a video where he was talking about Marathons. Before I say anything now, I don't want any issues with the community or with him. I just wanted to mention it. I'm not gonna tell too much what happened in the video. I put a link in the description if you want to check it out. But there are some points I disagree strongly with. And so you can't talk about murder drones without talking about World War and other points where I can say, okay, that's more likely. But um, the point where I can agree a little bit is, for example, he mentioned that Uzi is going to meet a mentor figure. I'm not thinking quite like that, but I think someone with an absolute server is down as the elevator shaft. So maybe a mentor figure or something like that. I'm not going to mention any more. Look at the video yourself and uh, make your own, own opinion. 
I'm going to include his theory just for completionist sake. So, Tessa equals sin. Tessa is acting quite weird uh, to the monodrons. They used to be her best friends and now she's kind of acting weird to them. I mean, <laughs> you probably would be acting differently than you were as a child if you go through all of that what Tessa went through. I mean, look at what happened to Earth. But like a couple of scenes where I can point it out of my head is like when Uzi and N hold hands. Don't date my robot, please. And I find it quite suspicious that she says my robot and not please don't date N or please don't date him. Or like how cold she's talking to Jay. So like Tessa is acting really suspicious, but it could be just another fake out. Monodons did already a lot of them. <laughs> Double J. Actually, this is not my theory, but like this theory of, I'm sorry if I'm going to butcher your name, Ahmed Sa No 5 I L. I don't know if I pronounce it right. I was commenting on another video and he was replying to my comment and he actually made me come up with this theory as Jay says, Effective drones were cloned more. But this actually doesn't make sense in the show, it's just ignored as a joke, like... <laughs> but like, all the disassembly drones are built by Sin, not by the company. First of all, why would Sin build two of them or at least would clone them? She doesn't even have, I mean she has the resources to do it, but it wouldn't make sense. And we know Uzi talks in the beginning of the show that the company made these, but we learn in the fifth episode that actually Sin made these out of a lot of scrap parts. So the theory is that this is a rebuilt J and this also feeds into the Tessa is Sin theory because if Tessa is Sin, she rebuilt another J and that's why she's still there. That means Sin built another J and then, I don't know, took control over a spacesuit or something and went to Copper 9 with that new J. Or if Tessa built it another J, I am not sure. And the commenter is talking about how she could have a remote and that why is J so obedient and doesn't trust to speak up to her when she's uh, supposed to guard the ship. The Tessa has like a remote to uh, stop the murder drones, disobey to her and I think that is why she's so confident to talk down to Jay. And anyways, now to the next one. As I was mentioning a couple of seconds earlier, I think we're going to have a really good cliffhanger. I mean, we have already gotten a couple of cliffhangers and if you notice, throughout the series, the cliffhangers got a way more intense. It started first with little teasers, for example, the absolute solver activating in Uzi's eye at the end of the pilot, or then it got a little bit more interesting with Tessa appearing in Copper 9 in the fourth or third episode. After that, episode 5 came out with the banger cliffhanger of the team finally meeting and everyone thought it's going to be a big fight scene and nothing really happened. So like this was a really big fake out. And I mean, do I have to mention the elevator scene again? I think either the cliffhanger is worth it and all of the characters are going to be traumatized after that or it's going to be like episode 5 and after that, hey, we survives. She didn't get killed by the raptors because plot armor and stuff like that. But like, I'm going to think, because it was steadily wrapping up, this one is going to end with an extreme banger. I think we are going to have like a happy unite scene after, I don't know, maybe another sin spawn, like I mentioned earlier with the Eldritch V. Um, I think everything will be happy and then Tessa is going to shoot Uzi or something like extremely dramatic and then we're going to have a fade to black and the typical directed by Liam Vickers. I think something in this direction could it possibly go so get yourself ready for that. Real quick, Nori is alive. I have mentioned it like a couple of times already that we are definitely going to see Nori. Although she's at least heavily implied to be dead somehow she's going to come back. You can't tell me otherwise. I mean, we have Alice to tease her, I guess. I mean, Alice is really missed potential. I have made a post on that. And you guys said the same. Alice could have been a lot more. Uh, but I think either she's going to come back as a hologram, but this time a sentient one and not just one controlled by the absolute server. I don't know. We need some points to make Uzi go even more crazy than she's already. So like, we wait and see.
I don't know if I have mentioned it already, but this list is like my wishes or like my theories for the next episode. So this is more like a wish. I would love to see Tessa's face. We just have seen like this black and with white eyes type of human. I mean, I think I have heard that the humans are black and white because of that it wouldn't really fit with the art style, especially with the focus on the eyes. So I think if we're going to have a face revealed, either it's going to reveal Tessa is sin or like she's not going to take off her helmet. But I don't know if she were, for example, if she tries to comfort Anne and take off her helmet or like her helmet is slightly broken, you can see a part of her face. I don't know in which direction this character is going to go, but if she is going to be friendly, she would have need a face reveal in my opinion. This is also a wish again. I would love to have like a more in-depth explanation of what the absolute server even is. I have 100 different explanations for that, but the video is already long enough. And if you want, I can do a separate video on that part. So write it down in the comments if you were interested. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit long and my voice changed multiple times over the course of the video. I was recording it on multiple days and where I have started recording this video i just had 100 subscribers and now we passed the 1000 mark and, and i can't thank you enough for that it really makes me happy that then you enjoyed so much anyways this video has taken way too long to edit and record so i have to think of a way how i can release long videos more often expect more videos from me but i'm not going to release them too often anyways love you guys and hope to see you in another video Bye-bye.